Hey all, it's Dan Fuxa. For those who basically know, I'm basically like, you know, one of the group moderators for the release group on Steam. And I also basically run the Spotlight thread where I basically try to find really space for you guys to, to see and like that, like, you know, thread and such. And sometimes I basically go to the Google Play Store to see if there's basically any games there that may catch my eye. One Bit Adventure was not one of those games, but recently it basically came to Steam. And it's essentially free to play on Steam, so I figured, okay, maybe I should check it out again, see what's base improved. So, here we go. I should probably note, there's actually quite a few games that really sort of port over to, like, the Steam store. This is enter our username. Whoop, not available apparently. Hmm. There we go. All right, excellent. All right, sorry for like the sort of general delay before I could basically change the sound and such, but that was a little bit forced. But anyhow, I'll note that with these like these games that basically poured over to like Steam, by the way, from like the Google Play Store, this is not basically the first game I've basically seen do doing this, and you know, it's basically actually done a lot more commonly now, but whatever. This was basically a game, that, like this one right here, that was basically on the Google Play Store. And, well, initially I like saw this game, I was like, you know, eh, do I really care about this game? Not really. But whatever. We'll play the tutorial so that we're going to what's going on. Alright, so, WSD to move. Pick up the key. Move to the door. Move his enemy to attack. You can wait for enemies to move by tapping the screen. Quick camera to close. You have a, like, you know, wait, it waits. Pick up the apple. Fence doors don't need keys. Click the apple to heal. Get a little bit beat up, but it's fine. Now, note this is basically a sort of side scroller game, so for those who basically played one way heroics, it's sort of like in that sort of vein of game where you can't go back, though I can't remember if you're being pushed forward or not. Alright, you can buy various items for coins, so pick up uh, as many coins in your travels. So top runner continue. You can also sell items for coins. The blah blah. Certain rare items can sell out. Quick hammer to close. The pair. The potion. There we go. Put it on. So let's select this helmet to upgrade. The blacksmith can upgrade equipment using ores found in mines or diamonds. Select an upgrade so we get like HP here. First tutorial, the upgrade is free. Alright, move this chest to open apparently, alright. Take all, take all the items. Okay. Move to the campfire to save and heal. 
Campfire will cure all status effects. Very nice. Resume Adventures allows you to continue your adventure after healing. Save Adventure will save and go to main menu. And Adventure submits your scores for rankings. Your, st your steps will reset to zero. You can keep track of progress at campfires. So here's the end of the tutorial. Resume and begin your epic adventure. Alright, so. You basically have adjusted what the game is basically all about, so. You know, stuff too, like, you know, um. Too snazzy or anything. I'm panicking. Yeah, note that I can't like go like you know back down. I must continue upward. So just place a limit before you can like you know not do that anymore. There's a helmet. We're equipping this one apparently, so whatever. We're getting experience where we kill stuff, so it's you know it's perfectly kill stuff if you have like you know the health for I guess. There's an evil tree. So we got sort of like a mimic enemy here. I have to watch out for. Probably the trees aren't worth, like, you know, fighting, so... Alright, just level up. We got two skill points. Alright, so I panted a little bit there, but whatever. So I could get like base attack off, critical chance off, coin boost up, health. I think getting the coin boost early on is probably a good idea, because this seems like to be like, you know, that sort of game. There's our equipment. So look because we have a, a, a sort of a guidebook over here. We got like helpful tips. We got dungeons here. Arco mode. So I left this like you know basically always on screen over here. These like you know the stat bar and like the inventory thing. And it's worth like just basically over here is basically like how it like looks in the in like the Android version of the game too. So I guess what they probably did for like this game here is like you know. They just made it so like these are always like, you know, visible, like the inventory and like equipment screens. So I can basically match what like, you know, happens in like the, um, the Android version. By right, pressing space, like, you know, pauses the game, so... I can do that if I want to. Ooh, longsword. Maybe I already have a longsword? Not really sure. Alright, we're getting a little bit injured here, so... Let's just heal up a little bit, like, you know, an apple. Let's take that open. Panicking sucks, by the way. Take that. There's in our apple.
I don't need to use a pair. Hmm. You know, I just noticed that the long has appeared down here. Oh, you can scroll this. Okay, so you can actually scroll this if you want to. Let's put in a sword, maybe? Equip this. Oh, I can slot Rusty Helm if I want to, I guess, so we'll just keep that around for now. We're doing a lot more damage now. So, it looks like there's like a sort of scroll bar basically over here. You can't really see it, but you know. We can actually scroll this if you want to. Oh, okay, pairs restore mana, not like, you know, health, so. That's what's basically going on here. Sure, we'll right, take that stuff. It's locked. I'll take that level up. Alright, note that I can't level up my coin boost here anymore, so there is basically sort of like a system that like prevents you from like, you know, upgrading stuff too much. We got some health maybe. Base attack. That could be useful. There's some steak. Alright, well I have to say, I'm actually quite like, you know, liking like what we basically see here. This was a game that was basically in development for like three years, so... It looks like the developer actually did some good work, like, you know, making this game, like, you know, really pop. It looks like the evil tree can be sort of like, you know, um... That. You can do that to the evil trees. There we go. Easy experience, if you want to like, you know, waste time doing that. There doesn't seem to be like a hunger clock, you just like go forward, so... Let's keep going forward. Uh, let's just go like this. Can't break open these crates because it's not like, you know, like this one. And our helmet right there. That's a little four helmet, by the way. That one has like you know only 14 HP, so it's not exactly better than the current one. I basically has, so whatever. There's nothing in the chest. I'm quite literally destroying everything in my path. Now I wonder like over here if like there's like a, a cap and like the amount of like items I'm gonna sort of hold in my inventory or not. It's a blacksmith. Dangerous creatures inside. Enter at your own risk. There are no campfires. Click anywhere to close. See, as I haven't actually seen a campfire yet, I probably want to basically void the mines here, so... John Brussel. 
You seem like a strong kind of adventurer. I can shop at Blaze for you if you got the resources. What is that door? Oh, that. It's your one-way ticket to death. But that's where all the resources come from. Some call it a portal. Others call it a dimension. Same thing if you ask me. I don't ask questions, usually just shop in the blades. It's just my job. So, hey you! Choose the equipment you can want to upgrade. So I upgrade my rustic helmet, my sword, whatever. Alright, so, um, there's the resources up there, I guess, so like, we will upgrades and stuff like that. So basically, can have like you know a free reroll, crit chance, crit damage, damage. So yeah, five gems or five like this. I might f find something better along the way, so I'm not going to do it right now. But you know, that's something good to do. Nice, we got Wood from the Evil Tree. Makes sense. That looks like a skeleton. So, I won't let this just like kind of a, kind of a basic game, because like, you know, there's like no like sort of like, you know, quality of life features, like be able to like sort of mouse over these guys and see like, you know, what their HP basically is, or stuff like that. It's just like, you can click and then I uh, like, you know, pause the game for if you want. Levitus. Let's be honest. I know you're trying to guess why you're here, as of many others. Your perseverance exceeds my expectation. For that, I will support you with any supplies you need. However, every journey has a cost of realization with questioning why are you continue to travel this never-ending path. Keep my words in mind, I have spoken. Alright, it's so basically gonna shop here if I want to. So this is our first shop, we can basically sell stuff we don't need here, so... Sell this. You know, I'm not really using man as character, so we can basically sell, like, you know, pears and stuff like that. Maybe in the future I might, but you know, not yet. We might have a, a purpose in the future, so maybe we'll, like, you know, not sell that one yet. I could literally, like, you know, sell an orange, buy an apple, but, you know, really no point for that, so it's just, like, you know, keep it orange. Alright, so that's done. We saw off all of our useless equipment there. Why not? Let's just get rid of the apples. It looks like I'm buying, like, you know, a different area here. Now, I'm not sure you notice, but these, like, trees and stuff are leveling up as you go along, so stuff is getting stronger as you, like, you know, keep going on here. Alright, so, note that I basically used that key, like, before, so... If I basically like uh, like save that key, I could come come use it here. And that matters be because like you know there might be like better higher um, higher level equipment basically up here as opposed to like you know back before. Same thing here. Our skeleton. Although, by the way, it looks like the main thing I want to do here is like sort of like to hit the, the enemy, so as long as I'm doing that, it's like, you know, pretty good on my health. 
Uh, I don't need to use the chest plate. I think I'll equip it. There we go. We got ourselves a little bit more armor. Picked up an orange again, because why not? Let's see a steak. Quest complete. Ten chests open, apparently. So, I wonder like, where it basically shows like what quests basically I have like, you know, to do right now. Or if it was like, just like achievements that basically they got. I also want like this to basically fill up as you go along here. So like, there's panic, so forces them move towards the random direction for free turns. Um, more info. Dreamers have a chance to inflict panic when two more dreamers are nearby. Spires can inflict panic, but only to the warrior. Okay. There's my equipment. Nope, look at that. There's basically other stuff basically listed here, so... You just have to, like, you know, select what you basically want to see. But yeah, I wonder, like, where, where, like, it shows, like, quests and stuff like that, so... And by the way, you can basically go to the shop to buy stuff if you want to. Ooh, free giants. Queen giants daily. We'll take those. Yeah, basically, like, you can pay money, really, like, money if you want to. A little experience for spending your stuff here. Well, I'll have to we'll see what the, you know, what's up with, like, the, you know, the quest when I basically get to, like, the main menu, maybe, so... For now, let's just keep fighting. Part of the reason why I keep fighting is get, by the way, so, so, so we can see find a campfire or, like, you know, um, a boss. Because there is, like, bosses in this game. Good little experience, why not? I kill 100 guys. I'll take that steak. I'll take that level up too. Let's see here. Can't boost my coins anymore, so let's go for a crit chance maybe next. Now, I don't buy the graphics just like this on the Android, by the way, so... Very, very, like, sort of, like, you know, dark and, you know... Light blues and purples and stuff, that type of graphics. I'm not sure if that changes, like, as you, like, you know, progress onward, but, you know... This is indeed how it looks like on the, um, the Android. There's a happy skull. Have a skeleton. I might need to get more attack power soon for the trees. Ooh, critical chance. Awesome. There's some wood. It's worth knowing that unlike say it's just a rogue, there is like no indication that like the evil trees are evil until like you like get right next to them, so the trends are slow, but you know. So so far I've got three hundred steps. Whoops, there's two trees here.
You're dead? So that basically only has, like, you know, uh, a little bit better, like, you know, nothing. Is that nothing better about this one? Whatever. You know, I think I'm getting more experience as you kill, like, tougher foes, so... That is, like, something to say about, like, the, you know, as you go along here. That's a campfire, by the way. Shintaro! I see you've managed to survive your first few steps of the travel. Congratulations! Shintaro is what they call me. Not many make it this far. And here you are, barely a scratch on you. If you say so. This place seems never ending. I was certain it was a trap that only touched. Never mind. Try not to die and keep your eyes open for other survivors. They may help shed some light to what is this place. So, alright. Get that key. He's just going dot 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 at this point, it's fine. I was gonna try and get them, but whatever. We don't need experience that bad. Alright, so we heal our HP basically up, we can save and go home. I'll reduce our step count back to zero, but whatever. So, um, daily login, basically tap to claim. Come back tomorrow for more daily rewards. See, I just like a sort of carryover for like the Android thing, so like, you know, basically come in, play a little bit, go back. Alright, so there's daily quest here, I guess, so like, you know, basically just like, you know, probably just like daily, just like, you know, your usual daily type of thing. Then claim that. Use the campfire. Get those. Now as we like go along here, as like get this like done, we'll basically get like more basically like, you know, complete for our daily quests. Crossing saved, that's fine. Got some achievements here, so Bounty Hunter. Uh, kill Ghost, sure. So you basically just build up as like you like, you know, do them. And you get like coins and stuff for them. I missed something, but okay. We claimed our rewards. And yeah, I looked up here our, our coins and our gems basically carry over. And like between like different characters as well, by the way. So it's basically, a, 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 you know, it's a real like basically like, you know, how basically works. There's rankings and stuff. And I guess like as like you keep going on, you get like rewards for it. So whatever. There's a shop. I guess like until we like clear out the daily quest, I basically always has that like you know little red like dot basically next to it, but whatever. Um, there's profile, daily login. So I guess if you want, you can go to Discord here. Not sure you actually able to see Discord, but you know we'll see that in a moment if I like I pop out of it. There's fiends, by the way, so if you want to basically buy, like, different fiends for everything like, here, I guess, so... Basically, you have, like, the default theme, but if you want to have, like, you know, other ones as well. So, like, Post Pink, Toy Boy, whatever. Whatever. Promo code! Alright, well, I think at this point, you basically, like, you know, sort of understand what's basically going on here. And I guess like exit, we just have to just press escape here. So, all right. So yeah, here's like the Discord basically forum. Got it. So that was basically one bit adventure. And like you know, at the time it didn't really grab my attention this game because it didn't really show like it was basically doing anything like really new or exciting. Um, essentially, it's like you know a roller where you basically just keep like you know transversing basically up and just go as far as you basically can. So it's a cool little game, but. Um, well, I guess it probably deserves a, a mention of Spotlight now, but whatever. Until next time, take care.